going on guys? Welcome in. My name is Adam Tuminero. I'm also known as the Orlando Drummer. And I am one of the new faces here at Drumeo. I'm going to be hopping on board as a satellite instructor. And my first lesson streams live September 5th. So make sure you guys check the Drumeo Edge schedule to see all the other lessons that I have coming up. But I thought, what better way to introduce myself as a new satellite instructor than to give you guys a free lesson right here on YouTube. So let's hop into this lesson, which is called Modernizing Your Metal Grooves. Now, if you're like me, you grew up on a little bit more traditional metal style. So metal isn't my primary genre, uh, but I learned all the basics. I learned the fast blast beats, I learned the punk rock beats, and of course I learned the big breakdowns with the quick double bass and the quarter notes on the china. But there's a lot of newer drummers coming out, drummers like Matt Halper and Travis Orban and Matt Garska. And if you haven't heard of any of those drummers, please pause this video open a new tab and Google their names and check these guys out. Um, these are three modern metal drummers that have really brought a lot of unique elements um, to metal drumming. So really advanced dynamics and interesting orchestrations and feelings inside of our grooves. So what we're gonna do today is take uh, what would be a normal, um, just a standard sort of a rock or a metal groove, and we're gonna add some things uh, that make it a little bit more complex and a little bit more interesting. So if you're struggling to understand uh, how some of these newer prog metal bands have all these crazy grooves going on, this groove might be a really good connecting point for you so you can help understand the complexities of what these guys are playing. So the first thing we need to take a look at are just beats one and two, because beats one and two are identical. It's the same exact set of four notes played two times. What we're playing in these two beats, the four notes are right, left, left, kick except the very first right hand has to also have a kick drum underneath it. So when we loop this around, we'll have right and a kick, left, left, kick. Right and a kick, left, left, kick. Make sure you keep those left notes, um, those left hand notes on the snare nice and quiet. We're gonna put our right hand on the hi-hat right now. Let's get the notation up on the screen and we'll just try looping beats one and two over and over until we get the feel of that. Then we'll move on to beats three and four. All right guys, so let's hop into beats three and four. This is a little bit more difficult, but again, it's, it's mostly linear, so we're just memorizing a pattern here. So on the downbeat of three, this is our big backbeat. This is the pulse that the whole band is waiting for, so we gotta make sure we have a nice loud snare crack on the downbeat of three. So that's a left hand of the snare accented, and a right hand will keep that up on the hi-hat closed for now. Now, this is an eighth note. So we're gonna not pick up on the E of three, but we're gonna have to hold off until the and of beat three. And when we're there, that's gonna be a kick drum followed by a left hand. You can keep that on the snare as a ghost note. And then we're on to beat four. That's going to be four E and a is gonna be right, kick, right, left. And those right lefts are gonna come back down to the snare. So both the right and the left will be on your snare drum. I know this sounds like a lot of information initially, but if you take your time, you'll realize that we're only learning just a really simple 16th note pattern. Uh, let's check this out at three speeds, 70, 90, and 110. Notation is on the screen. Take your time with these, and then we'll move on to orchestrations around the kit that give it that full metal sound. Let's check it out at three speeds. Alright guys, so just a couple tweaks left and then we are done modernizing our metal groove. First things first, we gotta take our right hand off the hi-hat and get that onto a different symbol on the right side of our drum set. There's two reasons why we have to do that. 
One, a closed hi-hat is not very metal. We need a much more aggressive sounding uh, cymbal. So a stacker like I'm using will be fine, a china would work, or even a crash cymbal, it doesn't matter. But the second reason that we need to do that is because we gotta have our right hand on the right side of the drum set, so we're playing open-handed. This gives our left hand the freedom to move around and orchestrate the toms, which is what we're gonna be doing in beats three and beats four. So in beat three, let's take a look at the uh of three, which is the last note of that beat. We were used to playing that as a left hand on the snare drum, now that is a left hand up on our rack tom. And in beat four, the last two notes of beat four and uh, those were played as a right left on the snare, but instead now those are gonna be played as a right left on the floor tom. Other than that, there are no other changes or tweaks to be made and we are done modernizing this metal groove. Let's give it a shot at 70, 90, and 110 beats per minute. Please make sure you guys pay attention to the notation specifically so you get the pattern right. And also make sure you pay attention to the dynamics. Uh, this groove does not sound right if the dynamics are incorrect, especially in beats one and two with those ghost note left hands. They gotta be nice and quiet. With that said, let's hop into this. Let's check out the full groove at three tempos. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for checking this drum lesson out. If you want to learn a little bit more about me, you can check out my website at orlandodrummer.com. There you'll find hundreds of downloadable drum lessons. You can also check out my YouTube channel, which is linked in the description. There you'll find about 100 free lessons that I've done as well just for YouTube. Again, my name is Adam. I'm so excited to be part of the Drumio team. I will see you guys September 5th. We'll be streaming live right here from the Orlando Drummer Lesson Facility. Hope to see you guys there.